The Queen's greenhouse nestled in Forest Park has provided plants and flowers to our city parks for more than a century. And today we got a rare look inside. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch takes us on a tour. This is where beauty begins, the Queen's greenhouse. All the annuals and perennials planted in flower beds throughout the city parks of Queens are grown here. We grow approximately 100,000 plants um, in the spring growing season. Director of Horticulture Adriana Yatsikiewicz gave us a tour. To in this house we grow a lot of annuals. A lot of Geraniums, today. dusty millers, vincas all start here as seeds. Gardeners sow them in December. Now they look like this, a bold array of colors and textures. Because yeah. they're soft, oh, they you can feel soft. the leaves on them. They're nearly ready for the big time. We're standing in a poly house, um, and basically the purpose of this is we put some of the annuals out here um, when they're ready to go outside. Here, they're hardened. Judging when the last frost is going to be and knowing when it's safe to plant them outside, that's a challenge. And keeping them healthy in the meantime is a big job. So we're, gonna, we're trying to use the least toxic method of controlling pest problems and diseases. That means real animals. Right, it means real insects for the most part. Like the praying mantis. Yep. This is an egg case right which now. can house 200 of them. They eat the bad bugs. Ladybugs are also put to work. By the end of June, this greenhouse will be empty. All the bold colors you see around me will be brightening up our parks. Parks like Flushing Meadow Corona Park. Here we caught up with gardeners Frank DeVino and Lou Capella. You're outside, you're in a beautiful place. They're weeding the beds of the Unisphere Garden. By May 15th, they'll be planting to the delight of park goers. They're kind of like, oh, we love it. Oh, thanks so much. Makes sense because they transform this to this by nurturing these plants from greenhouse to garden. In Queens, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Just beautiful. The Queens greenhouse will be open to the public tomorrow for the first time in at least a decade. Finally, some color, some greenery. Around here, I know it.